Okay, uh, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a little bit of modification on my CFR250L. We've got to take the seat off to try and get to, I believe it's going to be a adapter, which is by the battery, to fit this gear change um, indicator light. So it tells you what gear you're in. Uh, it's plug and play, so they say. Um, I will go through the It's exactly the same model, exactly the same. Okay, um, it says gear and it's for a Honda. Um, exactly the same connectors, exactly the same bag, the whole kit, and they are £69. If you go to AliExpress, which you can do, and they deliver to this country as well, no problem whatsoever, that cost me £13. Okay, if I can find it on AliExpress. I will. I will leave the link in the description down below. This is for a Honda. I think it's for the CR, yeah, the CRF 250L and possibly the okay, M. Put the bike all back together again. Let's have a walk around here. I spent two hours yesterday looking for this device, so um, I went online again. I searched and 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 searched, and guess what I found? There it is. Okay, so it is on the right hand side of the bike. This is it. Okay, it's on the right hand side of the bike and it's behind the expansion tank, your water expansion tank. And there she is. There's the little beaut. That's what we've been looking for yesterday for a couple of hours. Um, I took off the fairings. They're quite easy enough to get off. Um, same sort of fittings. Except with this, you've got little press studs just here. See them? So you just push them back in again and that goes just into the, the plastic pick of the, fair, of the fairing, okay? Right, so what we're doing now is okay, wiring up so this is the plug. plug. If anybody's lost the wiring, just take a screenshot of that. And now when you're looking at it, you're looking at it like this. Okay, can we see that? Just give me a sec. Okay, so when you're looking at it, that's what you're looking at, okay? So this clip is downwards look, okay? And it's that way round. Now, if you made a bit of a booby, like I did, because I wasn't looking at it properly, if you get a pin, if you can look clearly down there, right, you'll see little lips. You can push them out the way and undo what you've done. And that's what I had to do. Now, the way it goes in is these wires, okay, when you fit these into that, Okay, what you do is you push this part, that, okay, like that. So this says black, black top. So this is the um, waterproof plug. You see that waterproof plug? Black one, so this is the black one up here. So let's find the black one. We want him like that. Okay, so there we go. This is the, I'm going to get you in camera, black one. Is that black? Yes, it's black. And what we're going to do, I'm trying to get you to see this. We're going to insert it. Right, so I'll push it home. And it will clip. I'm going to give it a bit more force in a bit. The next one is the white. Uh, so we're going to make sure it's all nice and tidy. So the white one. Goes in, same procedure. Oh, see, now I made another. No, I haven't, I've got it right. Okay, so remember that's got to be facing down. Okay, so white one in. No brute force needed. White one in, and then last but not least, the red one goes in that bottom one. We'll double, double check. Make sure they're the right way around. Right, so if we look at the diagram there. Okay. So as we're looking, then you can see all that. Okay. Red, bottom right. White. Top. Top right. And uh, black. Back left. Okay. I want to push these home a little bit better. Just gently. That's it. 
So I'm not seeing no brute force, and then that's the the watertight one. So that's what we should be looking at, okay? Around and there's our pins. Okay. You've got a bit of tape around it, and you've got a bit of a, a clip here. I have to use a screwdriver on that. Excuse me. I can't put a tripod on this at the moment because I'm right in the way. So, so you just put put lift that clip at the back, and this cap. There we go. And that pulls off. All right. Okay. Put that there, nice and safe. And then what we're going to do is connect, hopefully this fits. So this is the one we've made up. And I presume it just goes in. And that's it. Look at that. That easy. And now the other end, when we put the ignition on, we should get some sort of response i'll just go and get my keys so we'll see if this is wired up properly so pop the ignition on and right, nothing's gonna oh there we go <laughs> straight away oh it's because i got left it so once you put the ignition on once you put your engine switch on to start the engine i've counts down and this thing works when it starts to flash but you need to put the bike on a stand. Let me turn that off for now. Turn my lights off. There we go. So you need to put the bike on a stand, which we do have, just down there. Lift it up, start it up. So this is where I'm going to take a little bit more time. So I'll come back to you in, in a bit and um, make sure the bike is totally secured. Because you have to go through all the gear ratios to um, get this working properly. But it works. So $14.99. 13 I can't remember what I paid for it. I'll have a look on uh, my eBay, not eBay, it wasn't eBay, AliExpress. So eBay, 69, up to 100 and something. And this is um, 14.99. Ready to focus. There we go. And there it is. That's where the connector is for the side. Wired up perfectly. I've put the wire in, well, how I wired it up in this video as well. And I'll put the link in this video as well for... Um, the link for whatever. Okay, we went for a spin. As you can see, the gear lever, not the gear lever, the gear light that I fitted um, is on a minus. Now I think I'm gonna have to recalibrate this again. Because what you do, you go down the road, a big L flashes, you put it to first gear, number one comes up. You drive down the road just a little bit, and then number one changes to uh, and number two, when you pull the clutch in and you go on and on. But if you come down fast without depressing the clutch, it doesn't know what gear you've changed to. So therefore, it gets stuck. And also, so when uh, you switch the bike on and everything's ready and you're in neutral, as you can see, neutral, when you press the engine button on the steering wheel to start the engine, it should just count down to one, two, three, four, and then flash L. But because I've recalibrated mine already, that doesn't make any difference with the gears either. So when you're going along, you need a nice stretch of road. Uh, I'd say no less than a quarter of a mile. It's not speedy, and you just put your foot in first, let the clutch off, and then when it reaches, it's when it knows that it's actually calibrated, it just goes to an end. You'll pull the clutch in and hold the clutch in just for a couple of seconds, and then it'll change to two and then off you go again accelerate until it stops and goes to an end and then three four five and then six and then uh, six will flash stop and that's it then you're calibrated but i've done mine a couple of times because i had to i got stuck and there was a car behind me and everything else so i think i might have to recalibrate it but at the end of the day it does work <sighs> will i stay with it i don't know because it's actually you tend to look at it and i don't want to do that is it? Have you got one on yours? Gear yeah. chair. But do you ever well, look at it? No, see I'm thinking it's not actually ideal because you tend to look what gear you're in when you're going along instead of concentrating on your driving and on a motorbike. So no, no. Anyway, there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and a like. That would be great. And we'll catch you in the next one.